A heart-stopping moment at the Olympic Velodrome left spectators in shock as three cyclists collided at 40 miles per hour, sending bikes and bodies flying. Stick around to get the full story on this high-speed crash that could have ended in tragedy. Wondering what happened during the women's Kirin event that had everyone on the edge of their seats? Stay with us as we break down the terrifying crash, the aftermath, and how the riders are doing now. The scene unfolded at the St. Quentin and Evelyn's Velodrome, where three cyclists collided at a staggering 40 miles per hour during the women's Kirin event. The Netherlands' Steffi van der Peet was the first to go down, losing control of her bike, which led to a chain reaction that took out China's Yuan Liying and Belgium's Nikki de Grendel. Van der Peet's crash was brutal, as she was thrown off her bike, causing her to smash into Yuan Liying. The collision sent debris flying, with Yuan hitting the ground hard and her bike shattered into pieces. De Grendel, trying to avoid the chaos, was eventually brought down, her head striking the ground as she went over the handlebars. Medics rushed to the scene, attending to the visibly shaken riders. Van der Peet suffered burns to her back and leg, while Yuan Liying was left distraught but relatively uninjured. De Grendel, despite the fall, managed to smile and wave to the crowd as she was led away. The race, already finished at the time of the crash, saw De Grendel secure a place in the final, where she finished 11th. The crash sparked a wave of reactions on social media, with many viewers expressing their relief that all the cyclists were wearing helmets. Comments poured in, highlighting the intensity of the incident and the dangers these athletes face. There you have it, a harrowing look at the crash that stunned the Olympic velodrome. What are your thoughts on this intense incident? Drop your comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on the latest sports news. Thanks for watching.